Hello there makers, this is T with Kate's Crafty Closet and today I have this really clean and simple beach theme tag to make with you all. It's super easy, super simple. I will link everything that I used in today's video in the description box below in case you feel the urge and the need to go shopping and buy some of these products. I'm also going to put some of these in the store for sale that are already made if you're interested in purchasing them. I will put a link in there later after I make several of them because I'm not quite finished. So let's go ahead and get ourselves started. Um, some people want to say use these. Oh, these palettes are also available in the store, which I'll link in the description box below too. Like great to make a beach theme project on it, which you can include doing this technique on it. So let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, super simple, super easy. You just need a tag. Um, so I have a tag that's kind of already started um, with this and you're going to need some Distress Oxide Salvage Patina. Um, so we'll grab that, take the lid off, grab our little sponge tool and you can just go. Remember these are oxides and they're going to blend super, super easy. And I'm just going to do my best and hold this and not get a lot of shaking going on. I apologize if I do. So as you get towards the center of that tag, try to do a little bit of a lighter hand on that. Like up here, I'm doing pretty heavy. So but down here, go light. Like just do a light blend, kind of makes an easier transition um, for blending. So if you need to, we'll need to come back in a little bit in a second. Next thing we're going to use an underestimated distress ink right here, tea dye. Underestimated. Like when I did this tag, it truthfully was not meant to be um, a beach theme. I just kind of wanted. I knew brown and this patina would go really well together. And I'm like, well, let's try it. And this is the first one that I grabbed, and. Because it was the first one in my stash. I'm like, okay, let's try this. And as I looked at it, I'm like, oh, wow, this looks like a beach. And lo and behold, it really did. So it kind of just turned out that way. And what can you use these for? Um, you can use these in junk journals. You can use these in a lot of different places, scrapbooks. You can put this on a card. Okay, and somebody great came up with a really great idea and one of the Facebook groups was use this as a luggage tag when you go on a cruise. I thought that was genius. So I'm just going to put as much as I want here. And if you don't have the oxides, you most certainly can use regular Distress inks. Um, this is just, I have both, but this is the ones that are really close by and on hand for me to use. All right, so we're gonna pretty much, I think I'm done with this. And then we're gonna grab some of that patina again and just kinda go back up here in this area just to smooth out that blend and add a little bit more to our. And when you go to the beach, you can see, it's gonna be a little bit darker towards the shore because you can still see sand underneath it. But as you go further out into the water, the ocean, it does get more blue. So, so there we go. So looks actually like an ocean view. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up. And while I have my water bottle handy, I am going to spritz our tag because what it winds up doing is giving a little bit of texture to that sand um, spotty texture like you would necessarily say it would be. So we're just going to go ahead and grab our heat tool and dry it. Any kind of heat tool will work. So you're going to see them little specks. I'm just tilting this a little bit so I can see um, when the water droplets are dry. And then we'll go ahead and finish this tag off. And you can decorate this any way you can. You can leave a spot to put a name on a tag or for a gift. You can most certainly do that. 
But like I said, I was thinking of, you can put like a picture from the beach, summer picture from the beach with of your you know, best friend, your kids, your grandkids, your next door neighbor, you know, whoever you're hanging out with this summer. And this is gonna buckle a little bit because it's wet and I'm drying it with a heat tool, but you can always just kind of smooth it out. Um, I don't have a little, unfortunately I only had one of those starfish. It was like an accident find. And just to finish this off, I have some natural twine here. Um, and I'm gonna use two strands of this and put it in there. And like I said, I don't wanna, ink, I don't ink the edges cause I want it to look like um, it's continuous, like it's going off the page when you look at it. So if you put a, a darker border around the sides of this tag, it's gonna give the illusion that that water and that sand ends right there. So like I said, leaving it open, like that makes it look like it's continuous. So, like, so junk journals, scrapbooks, card you can do this format on the front of a card it doesn't have to be an actual tag so take this color combination and add it to any of your projects and i'm having i'm struggling right i'm struggling if you do canvas work you can use this in paints now the blending will not be seamless when it comes down to paints but you can still get the same effect on a canvas or on a altered book. Um, so this is actually the hardest part of the tag and I did struggle with this a little bit um, when I was doing the original one. So we're gonna pull that together. Then we're just gonna take one more piece and we're going to tie it off in a bow just to give it a little more pizzazz. But like I said, and to me, just the natural jute works good because it'll remind you, reminds me of a pier or a wharf. Um, like when I was a kid or even as an adult. So that's kind of where I get that from. And back, you know, we call them pollens. You know, back in Louisiana, we call them pollens. And, you know, because they had that, that funky smell to protect it from the bugs. And stuff but that's just kind of what it is so just you know decorate how you want to if you, you want to use a brown ribbon you can do that it's all up to your let your imagination take you wherever it wants and your creativity let it take you wherever you whatever you wherever you want it to take you so I'm just kind of pulling our little bow together here and that is pretty much completes this tag. Like I said, super simple, super easy. Um, like I said, we have several things in the store that for this tag. Um, so let me know what you think and how would you use it if you use it any differently than I would. And if you know, do a hashtag Kate's Crafty Closet on social media so I can see what you're making. Also, if you're interested in joining our group, we do a lot of lives. And I also do a lot of live de stashes and sales. Um, all that stuff will be linked in the description box below. Make sure you like this video if you enjoy this tutorial. Also, make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. So, and depending on what you're picking the drop down box below, YouTube should notifi notify you each and every time I upload a video. So, again, thank you all for joining me. Have a crafty day, y'all.